Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, five month prediction reading for Capricorn. You can apply this to any replacements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, so um, apply this to your own unique situation. You may uh, uh, um, just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that um, you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. So tell me about, oh God, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn for July to August. What's surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What can Capricorn expect for August? to December. Okay. Oh, I'm not I'm not taking that. So I, I plan to pull the Oracle messages. Tell me about Capricorn for August. Capricorn for August. We have yes, it will happen. It's the right decision. So I feel like for the month of August, you're making a decision about something here, Capricorn. I mean, I feel like some of you guys could be making a decision about your career and finances, but let's pull some uh, tarot just to see. But whatever this is, I do feel like this is something that you've been, you know, seeking answers to, or that this is something that you've been, you know, kind of looking out for. So whatever this decision, I feel like it's going to be a really great, great decision here for you. Yeah, this is regarding something about your future here, regarding your work situation here. Some of you guys could be saying yes to taking a promotion where it will take your work or it will take you somewhere else. You guys have to physically move away or something like that. Okay, let's see. We have the four cups here. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are really taking this opportunity. Yeah, whatever this opportunity is, I do feel like it has to do with work. You guys are going to physically move away for a promotion, for a job here. Okay, so uh, yeah, two of pentacles. This has something to do with work. Um... I do feel like you're going to make that decision here. It, it, it seems like you're weighing the pros and the cons, but uh, Capricorn, I actually see some of you guys doing that, okay? Uh, tell me about Capricorn in September. Deception. Be careful of deceptive people around you. Also, deceptive situ uh, deceptive uh, work situations here, too. Um, this is so interesting. I feel like this might be related to work, but, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, uh, it, it, there's something hidden that's going on in your work situation here that you might be intuitively picking up, but you can't really put it, put a finger it because a finger on it because I do feel like there's something kind of shady going on here. Um, you know, I feel like it could be a situation that they're not being truly open and honest and transparent about something that they're dealing with right now because I feel like I feel like one of the work cultures. Well, like one of the uh, values is transparency and there's like like a lack of transparency here okay tell me more about september for capricorn here the five of wands there's definitely some sort of conflict here in some sort of work situation here now this could be also in you know perhaps your uh relationships here and your friendships here too but i feel like what's happening is i feel like whatever is going on here i do feel like your guides and your your guides and your angels and your ancestors are pulling you out of this so maybe that's why you're making this this decision to make this move here now if it now this could be like this promotion within the company here where you have to physically move or that you're taking a new job opportunity where you're physically moving away because maybe there's a you know you just you're just looking for a change here uh we have to seven of wands protect yourself yeah protect yourself from this type of energy here during this time you know i do feel like your guides your angels and your ancestors here are protecting you tell me about um capricorn here in october capricorn in october you know during this time i feel like some of you guys 
are taking care of your mental health here. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys could be taking like, you know, a break. Some of you guys could be using your sick days. Some of you guys could be seeking out help from a neutral person to help you, uh, to help you guide uh, you or give you those tools to uh, help you best navigate through your mental health struggles here. Okay, what else do we have here for Capricorn for October? Capricorn for October here with the four of wands. Looking good. With the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. Yeah, some of you guys may be spending some time at home. Like I said, some of you guys could be using extra sick days or using extra vacation days to maybe do a staycation here or something like that. Okay, so that's happening in October. All right. So I feel like you guys are taking like a mental health day. Yeah, you guys could be going to the spa. You know, some of you guys could be taking some time out to meditate. You know, or that some of you guys are getting into meditation or something like that. Or that you guys have been considering doing that. And you guys are finally doing that in the month of October. Tell me about Capricorn here in November. We have obstacles. So for November, you might be hitting some sort of obstacles here. So there are some blocks here that's keeping you from, you know, this forward momentum that you you are kind of experiencing here when it comes to your own life here, okay? So let's see, tell me about this obstacle here. It's more for Capricorn in November. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, this obstacle could be someone here that's coming back into your life that want, that's wanting to chat with you. Maybe this is an ex. Yeah, whoever this is, this is an individual that's looking for a relationship here with you. Yeah, it seems like you're receiving some sort of unexpected communication from somebody here that's wanting to reconnect with you or wanting to reignite a connection here or a relationship for the month of November. Okay, I do feel like this is something, someone that you moved on from. This is someone that you cleared out from your energy field. But whoever this is, you, I mean, you might not be even thinking about this person or emotionally connected to this person, but this person is still emotionally connected to you or thinking about you. Tell me about Capricorn here in December. December, you might be receiving, a, yeah, I feel like this ties into uh, the obstacle here that you're going to experience here in November because I feel like someone here is definitely trying to communicate with you. Someone here is definitely sending you a lot of messages. Someone here is spying on you here, okay? They could be emailing you. They could be DMing you. They could be texting you. They could be calling you here. Tell me more about Capricorn in December. Tell me about more about Capricorn in December. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have, yeah, this is someone that you're not wasting time on. Yeah, this is someone that you're not wasting time on. Uh, whoever this is, this is someone that you've let go a long time ago, a long time ago. You know, one of the things I'm also getting is that if you're stuck in a toxic work environment, okay, I feel like you might be letting that go or that you might be moving on from it or that you might just even send out an email to your boss, uh, to, you know, your, your, whoever is higher up from you. Uh, you're going to put in your notice about leaving or something like that, okay, because there's a sense of like, leveling up some of you guys could be thinking about starting a new business during this time so i feel like you guys might be getting out of that daily grind that nine to five situation that toxic situation and starting something on your own here okay so uh capricorn i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye